Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this short video I'll show you what's new on the oval side of iRacing in season 3. The two new cars and the Oswego track. This one is the Eagle T3. I'll drive it for the rest of this video so let's quickly look at the other car, the Casino M2. I think I like this car the most out of the three, from the sounds to the aesthetics. So yeah, not much to say really. This car, like today's track, is pretty battered and worn out. And resembles what I picture a real muscle car as an <laughs> European that drove German and French cars all his life. And this is the old street stock for a reference. Now the Oswego track. I shot this in an AI race. I thought it's more interesting than recording me doing some laps around it. The cool part is the AI seemed to take a random card from the pool of three we have. The Oswego Speedway located in Oswego, New York was built in 51 when original owners Harry, George and William Caruso converted the one-time Wine Creek horse track into the 3.8 mile dirt auto racing facility. The track was paved during 52 and remained 3.8 mile track until 61 when it was enlarged to the current 5.8 mile size. The Oswego Speedway has been a continuously run weekly racetrack since it opened in August of 51. That's pretty cool. So the track is old and it shows. I'm not a fan of uh, short ovals like this, but I might become one because I can see the fun just from racing the AI run. Everything looks pretty good. I especially like the old power poles scattered around it and the attention to detail on and outside the track. If you go back to those shots taken from above, you can see there is some attention to detail in the distance. A road here, a farm there, a parking lot over there. This means you won't see ugly stuff even if you go up that high, unlike other tracks. I just love more rubber on the track, to be honest. It's like who did it was a bit too shy with the decals and some impact ratches on the white wall to the right. Whatever, the 3D artist in me is taking over. I must resist. The stands on the sides are crammed with people, <laughs> bro. <laughs> it looks like an accident waiting to happen. The car interiors are pretty cool looking and it's nice to have some variation to be honest. Uh, but you might not value them as much as me because during the races you see only a bit of the dashboard and that bump on the hood that's blocking the view somewhat. So. But yeah, who is bored of the current stock cars? These are nice alternatives. I figured on this track you don't even need the final gear. That is all I needed as I got the RPM light at the point when I was going to lift to the corner anyway. In my typical fashion, <laughs> I make contact with the uh, lap AI in the last lap, but I save it somehow, so I leave to tell the tape. And this is it with the new content. Until next time, 
Take care and see ya.